Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of Future's Edge. In today's episode, we are going to be working our way towards some long-term goals. So, um, as I have said many times over the course of this series, one of our big goals is to get into Project E. To do that, we need the Philosopher's Stone, which requires the Dragon Egg, and a bunch of other Ender-IO complicated stuff, and we are going to need Ender Pearls in a bad way. That's, that's going to be one of the only ways that we can accomplish a lot of our goals is to have a steady supply of Ender Pearls. Now, I was looking at the quest book, and our best bet for, en for Enderman is going to be a Powered Spawner. This thing is a little bit... Oof. Oh, man. Oh, man. It's... <laughs> oh, I need a zombie villager for that? Oh. Ouch. That's... That's going to be a little harder than I thought. Um, that's all right, though. We still need Ender Pearls. So, in the quest book, if we go down this tech tree and we make ourselves a soul vial, that will give us an Enderman soul, an Enderman head, or solarium, and then it unlocks this guy, which, if we complete this quest, gives us an Ender a broken Enderman spawner, which could actually be really useful uh, because we can turn that into a powered spawner and basically spawn Enderman, which we can then kill with our Ender, because when we hit an Enderman with the Ender sword, this sword right here, they can't teleport away. They can't run. So it's kind of a poor man's farm, and eventually we can then use that to get to the end, kill the dragon, and, you know, all that kind of good stuff. And maybe even build... Who knows? In this series, we may actually build, like, a proper Enderman farm, an Ender Ender vanilla style to use as an XP farm because I don't know I don't know what what mobs spawn in the end with Lycanite's mobs installed but yeah so let's start off by making the soul vials and unless the recipe has been changed they're pretty easy uh solarium a little bit of fused quartz which is just quartz in an alloy smelter. Okay, that's that's pretty easy. We can do that. Let's just grab a stack. I've got a bunch of it from when I was in the nether looking for glowstone, I think. I, <laughs> I think that's what it was. And let's just toss that in here. Why, why you distribute like stupid? <laughs> Whatever. It should be fine. That'll make us fuse quartz. Uh, and we'll be able to use that to get what we need. Now we need three fused quartz. We've got it. And we'll just let the rest of it smelt on its own. And let's see if we grab a solarium ingot from here. We can do that. There we go. We've got ourselves the soul vial. And then we can complete uh, this quest right here. Let's take the... Enderman soul vial? Yeah, let's take that. So then we need to make the soul binder. And that's a little bit harder, but still doable. I'm pretty sure we have... Yeah, we've got an Enderman head. I probably should have actually taken the Enderman head for that last quest. Uh, oh well, that's fine. We'll get more of them. Especially once we have a way to consistently get Enderman. We'll be fine. Uh, so, soul... Binder. I need four solarium and gets one of each type of mob head. And thanks to our mob farm, we have plenty of those. Plus, the ender actually has a, a raised beheading chance. Oh, you know what? I just thought of a better idea. I still want to make the soul binder. We still need the soul binder. But I just thought of another idea that I didn't consider before. Let's sleep real quick. We actually found an Enderman spawner in a roguelike dungeon during a live stream, uh, maybe a week or so ago. We could make use of that. That might be the way to go. All right, so let's see. I need a basic capacitor, which is going to be one, two, three, four, one, two, U. And then it's like that. There's our basic capacitor. We need four steel ingots. 
and then four basic gears. So, oh, one, two, three, four. Grab a stack of stone, grab some treated sticks, and we'll make our four basic gears so we can make our machine chassis and finally our soul binder. There we go. We've got that. All right, so that is great. Let's complete this quest. And, you know, I think, I think I'm actually going to take the Octatic Capacitor. I think we'll do that uh, because they're kind of a pain to make. <laughs> and honestly, I have a, I have a plan. So let's put you back in here for now. I'm just going to put my soul binder into my Ender IO chest along with this guy. We'll take the soul vial with us, I think. And then I need a moving wand. There we go. We'll take that. Uh, I don't really need my building wand. I don't need this. I don't need that right now. I will take the ender pearls. I'm just trying to get... Uh, get ready to go here. What else are we going to need? I need some food. Um, yeah, we'll take the, the pork chops, I guess. I'm running a little low on food. We're going to have to do something about that pretty soon, too. That's okay, though. Let's grab a stack of spruce logs. And we'll put all of this stuff into here. I'm going to take this. And then let's also just grab a stack of, of building blocks to use. Uh, and finally... I want my bow. Oh, I should check. What does it take to make an infinity book in the Enchanter? Um, Punch, flame, infinity. One ender pearl, 17 levels. How many levels do I have in here? Oh, exactly. <laughs> I have exactly enough. Okay, cool. Well, just barely over exactly. Either way, it's fine. So let's grab you. And you. And a book. Do I keep my books in here? Where do I keep my books? Aha! There we go. Oh, extra torches. I'll take those too. So let's do that. Toss you and you. Infinity book. Please have enough levels to put this on the bow. Pretty please. Just enough. Okay, awesome. Fantastic. That's amazing. Okay, and then I need one arrow. All right, I think we are good. Now, the roguelike dungeon is... Oh, which one was it? I, I think it was... Let's just turn these guys on. I'm pretty sure it was this one right here. I think. It was either this one or this one. Either way, let me head off to this one, guys. And uh, I'll be back with you in just a minute. All right, guys, I am back. We're coming into sight of the roguelike dungeon. And I think this is the right one. I think. We'll know pretty quickly once we get inside because we'll be able to tell uh, if everything has been all torched up and all that kind of stuff. But I'm like 99% sure that this is the correct one. Uh, let's put torches in our offhand. And actually, I picked up a, lo a lot of just extra junk along the way. There we go. All right. I think, I think we're ready. I've got my torches. I've got my... Wait a minute. Did I keep an arrow out? Yes, I did. Okay, good. Okay, this is looking promising. Yeah, this is definitely the right one. Okay, awesome. So now we just need to find our way down, and we're a lot more geared up than we were last time I was here. So we might actually just explore this a little bit. This is a wither cat. Let's get rid of that guy. Last time we were here, we were, we were rocking iron armor, and uh, the struggle was real. The struggle was very real. So we, now there's also, uh, there's also zombie spawners here. So that zombie villager that we might, that we need, maybe we'll get lucky and we'll be able to get ourselves a, uh, a zombie villager. That would be great. 
I don't know how likely it is, but that would be pretty amazing. Hello, Diamond Axe. I'll take you. Uh, a lot of this other junk I don't really need. Uh, don't really need any of that either. I will kind of peek around, though. Ow! He lit me on fire. That wasn't very nice. Alright. Oh, I saw wither skeleton skulls. Alright, we're gonna torch up this whole thing. Ow! Quit it! We're gonna torch up this whole thing as best we can. I hear a witch, but I don't know... Often, I think the spawner, the spawners here are often, like, inside these things. I'm just gonna try and torch everything up as best as I can. Die. Alright. That wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. Let's see. Let's break this guy. Kill that. Kill the wither skeleton. Okay. Okay, no skulls. Not there. We've got... We'll just... Kill him. Ow! He lit me on fire. That wasn't very nice. Come on, now. We'll just... Should probably put a torch down. Keep any new ones from spawning. There we go. All right. I think we are relatively safe. And check this out. We got wither skulls, baby. Ah! Wither skeleton skulls. Looks like it might have just been the one. Either way, I'll take all these two. All right, guys. I am back. And I'm not seeing anything else that's particularly scary. I think we've gotten rid of most of the nasty stuff. Maybe not all of it. But at least a pretty good chunk of it. Oh, hi. Just kidding. There was a couple more. That's all right. We can... We can take them. I am out of torches, though. Um, Let's just run back over here real quick so I can make some torches. Because I am completely out. And we've got so much junk in our inventory again. It doesn't take much. It's amazing how quick that fills up. But that's okay. Um... Hi. Go away. Okay. There we go. Oh. Come on. Make our torches. There we go. Okay. Let's try this again. Who? Hi. Where'd you come from? In here, I suppose. Let's just put that there. This is... Oh, that's a zombie spawner. Hmm, I'm not sure where that one spawned from. Either way, we definitely want to torch up as much of this as we can. And let's make a run for it. Things are exploding all over the place. Oh, I'm poisoned. Great. Poison bad. Poison bad. Are we good? Are we good? I think we're good. Where'd they all go? There were a ton of them over here. Um. Guys? They're over there fighting. Oh, hi! There we go. Let's put some torches back here. There are obviously some spawning over here. There we go. Deal with those spawns too. Okay, I think that's good. Oh, I'm withered. That's alright, we'll be fine. Thank goodness for dark steel armor and all the <laughs> crazy buffs that it gives, because otherwise, that would have been a lot scarier. Uh, let's put a torch back here. Okay, I think we have cleared this area out adequately. I thought there was a... like a drop around here. Not the staircase, but I thought there was a spot where, like, you could look down and see the Enderman spawner. I, I was almost positive 
that that was the case. Somewhere here on the third floor... I'm... Things are exploding! Okay. Okay, okay. I think we're good. Maybe some spot where, like, the cave... Oh, here we go. Here it is. This is where we fall down. And then there's an Enderman spawner down here. So let's get out our moving wand. And we're going to go grab the Enderman spawner. Oh, oh, this thing has stuff in it. Um. Okay. Um. Crap. That's really not good. Um. Okay, here's what we're going to do. What does it take to make another... Well, but it won't have power anyway. Dang it. Ah, that's really unfortunate. Um... I mean, I need the Enderman spawner more than I need the Blaze spawner, but I need the Blaze spawner too. I suppose I could always go and get another Blaze spawner. It wouldn't be that big of a deal. Yeah, for now, let's just do one of these. And let's let's get out of here. You can see some of these little spots here were like the the really scary parts of the fortress down there. That's not a place you ooh, what in the ooh, that I just jumped about five feet in the air right there. Stay back. There we go. Got him. Whew. I jumped a little bit. Hello, Wither Skeleton Skull. Come to me. I need more of you. I need as many of you as I can get. Are there any more hiding around here? Because that would be amazing. I don't see any more. Okay. Let's peek around on this floor a little bit. I've already cleared that out, obviously. Right? Yep. All these chests have been cleared. This is the Enderman spawner room where I came from. Uh, let's just put some torches down there. How do I get out of here? There's the stairway that leads down. That's a thing. I don't think I necessarily want to go down. <laughs> it's a little scary. Actually, let's grab... Uh, mycelium doesn't spread, though, does it? Maybe it does. Actually, I think it does. No, it's Podzel. It's Podzel that doesn't spread. Mycelium does. Podzel doesn't. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, this is all good. This is really dark. This is all pretty dark. Hi, zombie. Die, zombie. Go away. Go, go, go away. Okay. What is that noise? Oh, these one of those little kobold guys. Yeah, drown. Die. Stealing my torches. Okay. I think we've cleared out this level of the roguelike dungeon as well. I think it's pretty safe. We got our Enderman spawner, but we lost our Blaze spawner in the process. But I think that's a fair trade because I can I I know where I can find more Blaze spawners. I should have just made another monster spawner. Um I didn't even think about the fact that this this one is full. <laughs> this moving wand. But that's okay. We now have a way to get Enderman uh and basically get ourselves enough ender pearls to get up to the end and fight the ender dragon. So it, I I think it's worth it. I think it was worth it. Let's go. Come on, baby. Up the stairs. You can do it. There we go. All right, let's get out of here. I'm going to head back home and I'll meet you there. All right, guys, we are back. So I think the best thing to do is going to be to make a room for this down here and basically just have like a an enderman killing spawning room is what I'm thinking. Uh, and let's just make one. It doesn't need to be big. Let's just maybe dig one out right here. It just needs to be big enough and dark enough that it can spawn in a couple Endermen and I won't get killed. Now these Endermen are going to be even nastier than regular Endermen because they're coming from the spawner which is on the fourth level of a roguelike dungeon, which means they have certain additional buffs and stuff like that. So they're a little nastier. Uh, in fact, they're a lot nastier than regular Endermen. So that is something to keep in mind. But 
We've got a decent little escape route right here. We can pretty easily do some slabs right here so they can't actually get to me because they, they need a three block tall space, obviously. And if I just dig this back a little bit further, there we go. What is on my mini map right here? Looks like I'm actually pretty close to some sort of water or something. I don't know. Either way, let's put this guy down. Spawns Enderman. I can... Hey, stop. Hey, st stop it. Look how much... That guy was a lot harder to kill than a regular Enderman. I think I killed a regular Enderman in like... Three hits? Four hits before? That guy took a lot more than that. Ugh. Let's keep digging this back. I want to try and give ourselves... I need to be very careful not to break the spawner, though. Because if I break the spawner, I might cry. <laughs> that would be really unfortunate. Oh, hi. There we go. But we're getting ender pearls. We're getting ender pearls. I don't have... Ooh. Yeah, that's not... I don't want to mess... Ah, uh, no. Uh, hey. Uh, oh. I don't want to mess with that. I don't want to mess with that. Let it let it disappear. That's bad juju. That stuff behind the wall there? Yeah, you don't want to... Oh, there's more Enderman. Okay. And he's trapped in a hole. There we go. And you... What did I get for that? I, I did get an Enderman head, and I actually got armor. You can see that the, the Endermen that spawn from this guy actually get armor bonuses, which is a little crazy. Let's just dig out a little bit more of an area here. Die. They, they can't teleport away, though, so it's fine. It's fine. Anyway, I'm going to get a whole bunch of Ender Pearls, guys. And I think... I don't know how many I need, but I need enough that I can find the stronghold. That's really what it's going to come down to. I need to be able to make enough Eyes of Ender that I can find the stronghold. So, I think what I'm going to do, guys, is kill a whole bunch of these guys between episodes. Do it the old-fashioned way, just like this. Oh, oh boy. Oh, oh wow. There's, they're everywhere. There's so many and Ow! Does this one have thorns? I feel like he had thorns. They can't get to me here, though. Like, I'm safe. The best way to do this would probably be to hit this one and hit this one. And then make a run to over here. So I can hit them both at once. Because they can't teleport. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So that's working for me. Anyway, guys, I'm going to work on this between episodes. I think I am out of time for this one. My friends, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it. And it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching. And I'll definitely see you next time.